All right, let's continue by having some fun and create a new Mad Libs route. That's right, we're going to create a new Mad Libs route where uh, we can tell a funny story. Now, to do that, I'm going to go ahead and just get some space in here, and I'm going to say uh, app dot route, and then we're going to do uh, forward slash. We always, whenever we have that route, we have to do that forward slash, and I'm just going to say Mad Libs just like that. And now that I have my route, I have to do my route function. Okay, so that's just going to be Mad Libs, the same. Uh, open and close, and we're not taking in any any uh, variables for that. Um, we're not passing in any variables. We're going to create our variables right in here. So I'm going to do setting, setting equals skyscraper. There we go. And uh, I'm going to do adjective one equals sad. There we go. And I'm going to do a uh, noun. We'll do noun one equals fish there we go and verb one equals run now the only reason I'm putting those ones in front of those variables is because I might want to have more uh, adjectives and want to have more nouns or more verbs in my story so I would do adjective two adjective three adjective four they don't have any significance you could really name those anything that you want all right the next thing that I'm gonna do is something new we are not going to write HTML directly in here we're gonna use something called render template all right and uh, flask comes with a templating system where we can write HTML and then pass in variables to that HTML let me show you what I'm talking about so I'm gonna do a return render underscore template and then I'm gonna do an open close parentheses and now I'm gonna say uh, mad libs mad libs Dot HTML. Don't worry, we have not created that yet, but we will. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and then I'm going to pass in my variables. So this is how you would have to pass in your variables. Setting equals setting. There we go. Comma. And then we do uh, adjective one. And notice it's auto-completing for me, so I'm taking that opportunity to type faster by auto using that auto-complete. Um, and then I'm going to do a noun one equals noun one and then a uh, a verb one there we go equals verb one just like that perfect and i can't forget to include up here my render template so i'm just going to go ahead and do a comma and then i just have to type in underscore render oops underscore render underscore render template there we go just like that perfect and now that I have that going I'm just gonna save it and we're gonna create a new file new file from template and this is going to be an HTML5 template just like that and now we're gonna write some HTML and this is gonna be really easy I'm going to first type in HTML and close that off and hit enter and now I'm going to do body there we go close that off and hit enter and in here I'm just gonna do h1 for my heading tag and I can just say a funny uh, Mad Libs story just like that and now I'm going to do my paragraph tag if you're not familiar with paragraph tag that's just a P so I can just uh, do my angular brackets P there we go and in here is where I'm gonna put my story and I can just say uh, once upon a time in a and then this is where I'm going to put in my placeholders. Okay, this is where we're actually doing templating. And here's how we do placeholders. We do our curly brackets. And so like that. And now I can put in here setting. There we go. And uh, I want to finish off my curly brackets. And I want to do a space though. Finish that off. So once upon a time in a setting far, far away, there lived a and I'm gonna do my templating my placeholder again and I'm gonna use uh, adjective one right there space and then I'm going to put in my noun one right there perfect and then um, this and then I can uh, again use my templating right here and I'm just gonna do noun one there we go uh, this noun one liked to, and then I'm going to use my verb, verb one, just like that. Close it off, and then I'm going to put a period. All right, and that is actually it. 
Okay, that's all I have to do for my template. Now I'm going to click a uh, file, save, and what's important, this is very important where you save it. So you're going to go ahead to your camp folder, go into your zoom app folder or your whatever your the name of your your app is. I'm going to double click. We have to put this in a folder called template. Okay, that is very important. It's critical template. So I'm just going to click new. I'm going to call this templates, actually templates templates just like that and now let's give it a name remember it has to be madlibs.html because that's what I called it in my Python code madlibs.html just like that and make sure I go inside my templates folder and click save all right it's in there now now let's go ahead I'm gonna open up my and it detected a change so it re ran my code I'm sorry it re yeah it restarted my server and let's go to the um, web browser right here and now I'm gonna type in localhost let's see if that that's working all fine okay that's still working perfect I didn't change anything with that route but now I'm gonna type in mad libs just like that and hit enter and boom there we go look at this a funny mad lib story once upon a time in a skyscraper far far away there lived a sad fish this fish like to run okay so if you notice it went ahead and it took my variables and it substituted that in now here's a shortcut guys that I did not show you here you can actually uh, instead of having to type out all these variables and passing them into your template that way we can actually take out all these and simply type if you have a lot of variables to type you can just type this locals just like that and then we want to do an open and, cl and close parentheses and what that'll do is that'll pass in all your variables without having to type them all out um, and let's see if that actually works you always want to test so it restarted our server and if I hit refresh I should get the exact same sir, uh, story and everything works properly uh, with our request and response all right so that's it go ahead and create your mad lib story make it really funny make it really goofy you can have as many variables as you want um, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video